Good evening, 47. Your target is a black hat hacker who goes by the handle Protagonist. He is currently in Paris with his longtime partner known as Whitecap. The two have been contracted by Dahlia Mogolis to execute a high profile hack tonight. No current pictures of the target exist, but he makes use of the hacker alias Protagonist, and he often references a particular brand of cheap fruit jam available in Alabama. You will have to use this information to identify him. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the elusive reactivated elusive target number nine, the Black Hat. One is Mr. Freeze 2244. So these are the items you're going to need. You're going to bring along your modern lethal syringe, your coin, and any suit you want to. And we're going to start from the main entrance, uh, just for the sake welcome of the people that Paris, haven't got all the mastery unlocks. So all these equipment that I'll bring along with me is target. just a part of your However, default loadout. So you shouldn't have any problems with this. So this is the first video I'm actually uh, going to be putting out for Hitman in 1440p. So hopefully the qualities are good. And I'd uh, hope for you guys to give me some feedback on the quality of the video as well. So uh, from the start of this video right here, what we need to do is go and grab that invitation for upstairs. Because that's where we're going to head to next. So we're just going to run through this party area over here. And use the pass to get past the bodyguards and head upstairs. Now the target is going to be in the attic. He's going to be wearing a white shirt. And he is our target, but the attic's going to be full of bodyguards and a couple of cameras up there as well, so we're going to have to take care of those. So just flash your V-card at these um, bodyguards, we can get past them nice and easy. Again, this is a long route, but if you already have the other locations unlocked, feel free to start in uh, the Iago auction. That is the fastest way to uh, start. Alternatively, you can start in the attic if you're feeling a little bit... Uh, feeling a little bit, I don't know, risky. If you want to go for the risky option and start in the attic. I mean, I did originally start in the attic in my original video, but I'm going to show you an easier option here. So we're just going to get frisked. Just make sure you have just no relax. items on you, like guns yeah, or anything like that. That can get detected during this frisk zone. But we haven't brought a gun along with us Thank because you. we don't need one, it. Sir. So once we head up the stairs here, we're going to head straight into the Thank attic. You, and we're actually going to grab a bodyguard disguise. And uh, the bodyguard in question is going to be in this area over here. Now just use your instinct to find out where the bodyguard is. And if he's at the window right here, you want to go ahead and take him out. Grab his disguise and uh, we should be safe. A lot more safe than we was anyway. Because you're hostile to everyone in your suit. But with this, you're only hostile for a couple of people. Now just watch, look around you and find out where all the enforcers are. Uh, there should be one to your right, but as long as uh, they're in that position for you, you should be fine. You're going to grab that hammer right there, and these two bodyguards are going to be having a conversation. Now, the bold, uh, the bold, as you can say, as, you as, I, should, yeah, as I should say, is going to be heading towards this uh, area over here. What we're actually going to do is get behind this object right here and circle around it as he walks past. And once he walks away, immediately exit the cover and wait for this bodyguard here to turn around. And as soon as he turns around, you want to throw that hammer at the back of his head. And uh, you want to pick up the pass that he drops up on the floor and drag his body. This is You have to do this super quick as well. Drag his body over here. Now, if you don't really want to take this risk, alternatively, you can wait for this bodyguard to come back in the area because this is where he's coming anyway. And as you can see, he's heading towards this window. You can go ahead and wait for him to come back and then take him out like this, then take out the other, gu the other guard. But I found to do this quite easy. Um, you have got a few seconds spare anyway as well. But if you're finding it a little bit tricky to do that quickly, then feel free to wait for the guard to come back in the area and take him out. So once we've got those guards taken out of the area, you'll notice here that we've got spotted by the camera. But you don't need to worry because uh, we're going to take out the cameras in a second. But we're going to use the ca uh, key card to open the door and throw a coin there in that location. That's going to distract the bodyguard that's inside the room, and he's the final enforcer that we need to take out. So, pull out your hammer that you re we retrieved a little bit earlier. And as soon as he comes out the door and looks to where towards the, towards the coin, that is when you want to go ahead and take him out. So, you can throw the hammer in the back of his head so you don't get, spo you don't get spotted. And once you enter this area over here, these two um, are the only people that are going to be wor you're worrying about. So, our target is there sitting down in the white shirt. 
So what we actually want to do well, is uh, take them both out. So we're going to throw a coin in the opposite side of the room. Say what? Find out what that was. Now I found on every uh, every uh, occasion he's going to send the other the other guy over there to find it, to investigate the coin. So while he's doing that, stab the target with a syringe and subdue the other guard. And then once you've done that, that's the target taken care of. Delete the evidence that's on the table. The camera did spot us, so and that's everything taken care of. All we've got to do now is re uh, retrace our steps and exit the mission. We are actually going to retrieve our suit because we have to. That is a very, very important step that you retrieve your suit. So when you come out here, just watch out for the enforcers again. There's one right there, so we're just going to crouch, run through this section, and retrieve our suit from where we actually took it off before. And the reason for that is, because we are retracing our steps, if we just exited with the bodyguard disguise, the guy downstairs would have spotted us, because he is an enforcer to the bodyguard disguise. That's the reason why we put our suit back on. And at, once you, if you're at this point right here, then you're home free. You haven't got spotted by anybody, no bodies have been found, and we're going to take the main exits, um, just to, again, to uh, relieve the risk. If you're feeling a real risk, you can go for the helicopter exit if you want to. But I always found just go for the safe options once you've completed the uh, the you know the old of objectives. There's no need to take any further risks at this point. So always go for the safe option. That is the best port of uh, action, I think. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, the quality of this video. Hopefully it's a lot more better than usual. Uh, just give me some feedback on what you think about this and if I need to improve any. Uh, of the visuals like the brightness or the saturation or anything like that just let me know um, I never really render or edit on a PC but this is one of the very few times that I've actually tried to do it especially on a lucid target all days that's why it's taken a while a bit longer to get the video out than usual but uh, just let me know uh, what you think of the quality and all that kind of Have stuff fun. but once you get to this point right here and we exit the mission you'll get your silent assassin rating for the black hat so hopefully this has helped you out and you've enjoyed it uh, drop a like on the video if it did help you out and subscribe here if you are brand new to the channel for more videos just like this. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.